All right, so starting back in the corner here, we've got that birch tree, but we have some local pollinators here. There's uh, some New England aster, there's uh, woodland phlox, and there's some blue stem goldenrod, which is kind of cool. And as you come down here, and we can kind of take over what, what we see here. So over by that little house there, we have some carrots growing, there's some lettuces, we have basil, we have a lavender bush, um, there's some greens and some chard mixed in. There's a lot of calendula. Uh, we have parsley over here. A lot of calendula. We just kind of let it grow wherever. Yeah, it just kind of does. It. It came this calendula year. does its thing, which is great. We built these trellises here that uh, we found for, uh, some cedar out in the in the woods and just looked on Pinterest and, and just mm -hmm. modeled what it said. It's we had we had an abundance of snap peas, but they're all they've all been eaten. They're all gone. Now I cut them down. Cut them back. <laughs> All right. And we what do you got right over here? Our sage bush, which is just is. took o just took over. <laughs> and my shadows in it there. Mm -hmm. Some thyme over there. And here. But here, um, so we have echinacea, which is a wonderful pollinator to have in your gardens. Um, but it's also very beneficial internally and externally. Um, this is it's getting a little beat up now. We just had a storm, so it it um, kind of beat the plant up a bit. Um, and it's coming towards the end of the season, uh, but it's still very medicinal. Um, what we do is when we harvest it, we kind of cut it down to the next um, to the next bud, and I'll dry out the leaves and the petals. And then in the fall, once the, once it's done flowering, I'm gonna um, dig it up and actually cut off some of the roots, and I'll use the roots as well. How do you do that? Uh, so you just like dig it up like you're gonna transplant it, and you just kind of give it a trim and then you can put it back in. And it's, it's great, it's actually beneficial for it because it'll allow the roots to, um, to spread. And as you're, as you're becoming more and more of a gardener, you realize the more you actually use the plants and cut the plants, the more they're gonna wanna grow and, and spread, which is fun. Okay, and back to the skincare benefits of this amazing plant. Um, it's very hydrating. Again, loaded with antioxidants, which we all know is wonderful for our skin. Um, it's soothing and calming, and it's great for protecting against environmental stressors. Oh, and what's that behind you there? Oh, where? Right over there, and Rio. Oh, did you fall down? <laughs> oh. Am I looking at it? Yeah. Yeah, we have some turkey tail here. Turkey tail. So Kevin cut up these stumps and placed this here as you know to help with erosion, and we have some wonderful turkey tail growing. Mm -hmm. 